Hi, Martin Weidemannier from True North Ministry, South Africa. This video clip is about the beast and what is the beast. The previous two, you can go and see that a man can pay homage or worship or service God or they can service a beast. Now it's very important that we stay in time. 2000 years ago, John already wrote this to the seven churches that time and he talked to them about a beast a natural earthly power that rule he said to them he said i'm going to open the plan of god for you i'm going to say things that was things that is and things that is to come and when he spoken on revelation 13 and he said to them about the beast he said the beast was is not and yet he is so it is an earth earthly natural government power that are reigning over men and God wants men men of God to come under under it and um, serve God alone you will see that this beast make war with the holy ones and uh, in 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 Revelation 13 we will read that this beast got its power from the dragon the dragon is satan um revelation 13 verses 4 and then the beast got his authority in his life also verse 15 from men so men honor it and as men honor the beast this earthly power then it has more power over you god wants us to serve him and him alone now that time was the roman empire the great beast when john was on the isle of patmos um, when we go back to daniel 7 we will read about four empires the babylonian empire the media and persians the greek uh, greece and then the roman empire and Daniel will say it is four beasts coming out of the sea, coming out of mankind to rule over the men of God. And 2,000 years ago, the Roman Empire was still the ruler over God's people. Um, so he talked to them and said, you must overcome. You must know there is a, a war against you. Satan is the power and authority of this beast but you are also giving it authority and life to this beast but you must overcome you must come under it out you must come to a place where you know that christ died for you and you have his spirit and his mind um today there's another beast that rule maybe it's not the roman empire anymore and people see that um, some um, governments of this world the uh, american government in the united states is a beast that tries to rule over them and some see it, it is religion that is a big beast and some see it as a church and some will say um, it is a sport you know sport is a great beast a natural earthly power that can rule men and some will say no it's money the love of money is a beast um, whatever you are thinking is a beast it doesn't matter the thing is God must be your Lord and Savior and you must come under his influence and his power and his authority so i hope you understand that a beast can rule you it is an earthly natural government a power but it's not under the the um, authority of christ but you must give your life to christ and serve him i have so many scriptures here what i can say to you you about the beast um, 
the beast of 2000 years revelation 13 verse 5 it ruled for three and a half years so it's very interesting that three and a half years was the same time that jesus christ ministry was there um, what can i say god used the beast to his advantage to do his will um, uh, Revelation 17 verse 17 very interesting and um, the beast in Revelation 13 verse 2 said it uh, it looks like a leopard and his feet was like a bear and his mouth like a lion Daniel 7 says that that four beast the um, Babylonian was like a lion and the medium Persia was like you know leopard and Greece a bear and stuff so very interesting to make that thing um, I already said that um, the number is the the, the, the number of man um, 666 it means fullness of man the thinking and works and your righteousness and everything you do belongs and comes from this power of man and it is actually um, from Satan and um, this beast that seven heads seven um, heads means seven um, places or seven rulers with ten horns ten powers or ten rulers or ten kings and um, in that time if we go to the Roman Empire we will see that they were ruled by seven kings on seven mountains the seven hills of Rome with with ten kings um, so and the beast make war with the women I will later speak on the harlot who that who she is um, but I think that is a good summary so that you can know that that the, the important thing is God wants us alone and we must serve him and worship him and do honor him alone and no natural lust no earthly thing like money or anything must rule over the men of God may you be blessed in Jesus mighty name Amen